Hi and welcome to the video training of Linux and in today's video training we will be learning about wget and scp commands and how to use them for file transfer in Linux. GNU wget is a free software package for retrieving files using HTTP, HTTPS, FTP and FTPS protocols, the most widely used internet protocols. It is a non-interactive command line tool so it may easily be called from scripts cron jobs, terminals without X windows support, etc. The syntax is very simple and straightforward. You just need to type in wget and download link of file you want to download. For example, if I want to download NetBeans on my server or on my local computer, I can just go to the terminal and type in wget and the URL of the file that is on the NetBeans server. I have it here on my computer so I can just copy the download link here and paste it here and press enter. You see it is now being downloaded on my computer. It's waiting for response. Here you go. The transfer has started and this way you can easily download any file on your computer or on your remote server using wget. I'm going to terminate it now because I just wanted to show you how to use it. Now you have known how to use it so I can cancel it the transfer. Okay, and the second thing in this training is SCP command. SCP or secure copy allows secure transferring of files between a local host and a remote host or between two remote hosts. It uses the same authentication and security as the secure shell that is SHSH protocol from which it is based. SCP is loved for its simplicity, security and pre-installed availability. The syntax is very simple. It is SCP username at the rate from host file txt slash local directory. Scenario is like if you want to transfer file from one server to another. Let's say we have a small company and one of our server is in Frankfurt, the other server is in Singapore. You want to transfer a huge file from Singapore server to Frankfurt server securely instead of downloading on your machine and uploading it again. It will use a lot of bandwidth on your side and on your server side and plus it will take more time to do this process. So what we can do is we can simply connect to our Singapore server first. Let's launch our Singapore server. Okay, I'm connected to my Singapore server and now I'm going to connect to my Frankfurt server in other terminal window right here ok I am connected so from on my Singapore server I have some files in my directory so let's say I want to transfer uh, this file rep slider.zip to my Frankfurt server so I can use the scp command to transfer ref slider dot zip to remote server in frankfurt in the root folder if i see my frankfurt server I, and i check the directory listing i only have search folder and if i check the present video uh, working directory it is forward slash root so there is only search folder here so i want to transfer ref slider dot zip file into the root folder. For this I just need to type in scp rev slider.zip space root that is the username on the Frankfurt server at the rate IP address of the Frankfurt server and at the end colon forward slash root. Root is the folder where I want to transfer my file. So once you have typed it just press enter it will ask you for the remote server password that is the Frankfurt server password. Okay, I'm going to copy the password here and press enter and it has started the 
transfer you can see the file is being transferred and you can see the percentage exact percentage of the file transferred to the frankfurt server okay it's done and if i go to my frankfurt server and see the directory listings i can see the file has been successfully transferred from my singapore server to the frankfurt server now i can delete this file because it i don't need it on my frankfurt server okay that's it so i think you have clearly got the idea and uh, benefit of using scp command uh, on your linux servers if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you need any help feel free to contact me at youmehmood@gmail.com my linkedin profile is this and my twitter handle is this see you next time with a new topic in linux